our word for today on this Monday of the fifth week of Easter, this Monday, May the 8th. In fact, the uh, the birthday of my father, my, my late father, so pray for the repose of his soul today. On this Monday, May 8th, our word for today is loves. Loves is our word for today. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, "'Stand up straight on your feet!' He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles, Barnabas and Saul, tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth, and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts." Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. Our responsorial psalm, Psalm 115. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. Our gospel today is from John chapter 14. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. And our word for today is loves. Loves is our word for today. Our The, the uh, reflections from our Holy Father, we begin first with that. Uh, these he shared during his Regina Chaley address, May the 26th, 2019. In what does the Holy Spirit's mission, which Jesus promises as a gift, consist? He describes it himself. He will teach you all things and bring you to your remembrance regarding everything that I have said to you. Throughout his earthly life, Jesus already passed on all that he wanted to entrust to the apostles. He fulfilled divine revelation, namely, all that the Father wanted to impart to mankind with the incarnation of the Son. The Holy Spirit's task is to recall that is to enable full understanding, and to induce us to concretely implement Jesus' teaching. The Holy Spirit's task is to recall, that is, to enable full understanding, and to induce us to concretely implement Jesus' teaching. And this is also precisely the mission of the church, which she accomplishes through a precise way of life, characterized by a few requirements, faith in the Lord and observance of His word, docility to the action of the Holy Spirit, who constantly renders the risen Lord alive and present, acceptance of his peace and the witness born to it through an attitude of openness and of of encounter 
with one another. Again, the Holy Spirit's task is to recall, that is, to enable full understanding and to induce us to concretely implement Jesus' teaching. So much to cover here today, but love's our word for today, so I want to go to the gospel where this is covered. The gospel reading today from John chapter 14, Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and will observe my commandments, and I will reveal myself to him. So this raised a question in the mind of Judas, not the Iscariot, who said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not the world? So this raises a curiosity in Judas because he has seen this over and over again that Jesus is speaking to them in private and he's not speaking to them in parables. He's speaking to them directly. And when he's with the crowds, he's speaking more in parables. And so this brings this question to mind for Judas as Jesus says, as he says again, uh, these uh, words regarding the love that the father has that he has, Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. So this is him speaking out plainly to uh, his followers, to the apostles, again, as he spoke in parables to the larger crowds. So Judas has this question. Then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered to his question. I I think a very uh, appropriate question. Jesus answered to his question. Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Did that answer his question? (laughs) No. It wasn't the right question. (laughs) Jesus is saying, look, I am telling you what's of greatest import. Don't go to lesser things. I am revealing to you what is of greatest import, that you love me, that in loving me, you love the Father, the Father loves you, and I love you, and the Spirit will reveal all of this to you so that you will understand what? How much I love you. How much I love you. If you get everything else wrong, get this one right. I love love you. I lay down my life for you willingly so that we can be in relationship together. Why? For my benefit? No, it doesn't benefit me, Jesus says. It doesn't benefit me. I was perfectly happy, perfectly content, perfectly before I came and laid down my life in the flesh for you. The Father and I and the Spirit needed nothing from you. But we wanted to share who we are with you that you might participate in it and benefit from it. Why do we have commandments? Why do we have the things that the Lord tells us to do and not to do? Because he loves us. He tells us these things because he loves us. And he wants what's best for us individually so that we can enter into right relationship with him. Yes, but he also knows it's just what's best for us. He made us. He knows how we should operate. You know, if I buy a Ford uh, vehicle and I'm having some difficulty with it, I'm probably going to call the manufacturer. I'm probably not going to call Hoover vacuums to find out what's wrong with my Ford vehicle. We are made by him and everyone else is a pretender. Everyone else who claims to know anything about us is a pretender. If they in any way conflict with the one who made us, why did he make us? To know, love, and serve him. Why? Because out of love for us. So again, every question has the same answer. Jesus, why are some people's eyes blue? Jesus answered and said to them, whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Jesus, is the, round, is the world round or flat? Jesus answered and said to him, whoever loves me will keep my word and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. This is of the greatest importance, brothers and sisters. In this life, 
you are able to get anything else wrong as long as you get this one right. It matters not if you have much or you have little, if you're very well educated or you're a simpleton like me. It doesn't matter. What matters, not that that doesn't matter, it's not of the great import that this is. All of those things matter, of course, and we do the very best we can in this life, but this is the one area of life we cannot get wrong. And so I invite you to know this, to absolutely know it, and to know it without any shadow of doubt in your mind. Jesus loves you. The Father loves you. The love between them, the Holy Spirit, lives within you to stir this up in you that you might be brought into deeper and more intimate relationship with them. Doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter the things that you have uh, done that have gone awry in your lifetime. Today, right now, Jesus loves you with a perfect love. And he wants to be in right relationship with you. Move forward in that invitation today. Open your heart to the Lord today to go deeper If you're already in an intimate relationship with him, go deeper. Father, we give ourselves to you completely, wholly, entirely. We are all in. Continue to stir up your spirit within us to reveal more and more to us about your son, Jesus Christ, and you, our heavenly father, who call us into this eternal relationship. And we thank you for it and pray for the intercession of our beloved mother, Mary, as we continue to give ourselves over more and more to you, that we might be brought closer and closer to you, that we might look more and more like you as we move toward that eternal reward that awaits us all, where eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it even occurred in the mind of a man what you have waiting for all of us who love you. And we love you. Loves our word for today.